Hi all, welcome to Azure content. This is part 30 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. In this video, we will learn how to execute an ADF pipeline via REST API call from another ADF. So in previous video, we had achieved the similar requirement, but in that case, we had both the pipelines in the same Azure Data Factory, which means the pipeline which I need to run that is we need to execute and the pipeline from where we are sending out the rest api call both of these pipelines were in the same adf but now our requirement is we have the pipeline in one adf and we need to send out the rest api call from another adf so we will see how to achieve this in this particular video so to achieve this requirement again we will use web activity where we will use this REST API endpoint to make the POST call to run the pipeline. So you can see this is the endpoint which we will be using and it is going to create the run for a pipeline uh, about which we will be mentioning all the details like the subscription ID, resource group name, data factory name and pipeline name and this is the query parameter which is having API version. So these are the same thing that we have done in the previous video but the only thing is for this requirement we will need something called data factory contributor role so we will see in details how to uh, give this permission to the adf so let's directly jump into the demo part so this is the pipeline that we are going to trigger that is set value pipeline and we have another pipeline called sort array elements pipeline both of the pipelines is expecting a parameter so we need to pass it in the body section as we have done in the previous video as well so this is the pipeline that we had created where in the web activity we were calling this rest api endpoint and we were doing a post method and we were uh, passing the parameter in the body section so we will do the same thing but using another adf so we are going to execute the pipeline present in one adf from another adf so to do that let me create a new pipeline where we will be using web activity again and the configuration will be same as before so let me copy this url and here I will paste it so you can see all the details will be as it is because we are going to call the same pipeline as we have done before so the data factory name will be same subscription ID and resource group name everything will be same so now we will use post method and even the body I will be giving same so this is for running sort array elements pipeline okay so let me copy that for authentication we will need system assigned managed identity and as we have discussed for resource we need this part of the url okay so this will be acting as the resource which will be making this post api call so if we hit on debug uh, we will see if it is able to trigger the pipeline in another adf or not or will it give some error related to authentication so let's wait for this pipeline execution to be completed so you can see it has failed and if we see the uh, failure error it is saying uh, that this adf is not having authorization to perform this action so what is basically happening is uh, since we are calling the pipeline which is present in other adf so this adf should have permission in order to make that rest api call to other adf so what we need to do is we need to give certain permissions to this particular ADF. So behind the scenes what happens is one system assigned managed identity with the same name as the ADF name is getting created when we create any resource. So when we created this data factory a system assigned managed identity with the same name that is unknown test ADF would, be, would have been created. So we basically need the permissions for this managed identity to enter into the zone of another ADF and make the REST API call. So what we will do is we will give the permissions to this anu test ADF from anu hyphen ADF. Okay. So let me go to anu hyphen ADF. Let me go into this ADF and here if we need to provide any permissions we need to go to this identity and access management. So here you can add any role that you want. So you need to go into this add role assignment and here you will see something called data factory contributor role. So this is what we need for this unknown test ADF from where we are making the rest API call. 
So let me select that and let me hit on next. So we need to give permissions to the managed identity. So I'm selecting that and here we will select system assigned managed identity for Azure data factory. So here we will search for data factory and I will search for a new test ADF here. So you can see it is appearing and let me select that and let me assign this role to the Anu test ADF in order to access a new ADF resource and to make the REST API call. So our role is added successfully. Now if I go to a new test ADF and if I hit on this debug, it should be successfully making the REST API call to trigger the pipeline present in another ADF. So let's wait for this activity to be completed. So you can see the web activity has successfully succeeded. So now let's give a thought that the pipeline that we are trying to run that is sort array elements the execution details of the pipeline would be appearing in this ADF or in the previous ADF. So I think technically it should appear in the ADF where that pipeline is originally present, right? So let's go to the monitor section and let's see if anything is triggered here. So you can see nothing is triggered in this pipeline from where we are making the REST API call. Only the debug uh, pipeline execution that we have done which, uh, which failed once because of uh, authentication error and again it succeeded. These are appearing here and if we go to the uh, Anu ADF, so here in the monitor section we are expecting that sort array elements would be having one run. So you can see it has one run within 24 hours. So we are good. And similarly, we will make another API call for this set value pipeline where we need to pass this parameter in a string format. So let me copy this pipeline name set value and let's go to the previous ADF. And here, instead of uh, sort array elements, let me create a run for set value pipeline and uh, the parameters we need to change it to param1 and we need to pass the string value instead of array value. So let me remove this and let me pass a new as the string. Yeah. So if I hit on debug for uh, set value pipeline, it should create the run for set value pipeline as well. Let's wait. Yeah, it is succeeded. And let's go to ADF here. Let's go to monitor section. Yeah. So you can see set value pipeline is also executed successfully. And if I see the output, it should be giving unknown as the output. So you can see it is coming as expected. So the only thing that we need to keep in mind while executing the ADF pipeline via REST API call from another ADF itself, then we need to provide data factory contributor role to the ADF which is making the REST API call. And where we need to give this permission from the identity and access management of the ADF where the pipeline is residing. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.